and uh, we're going to start this beautiful Kundalini class that I prepared for everybody. So we're going to get a brick or a cushion or wherever you feel more comfortable. And uh, we're going to sit. Hola Ale. <laughs> Siempre que quiero empezar llega alguien. Ahí pongo de mano derecha el link para la música. Here we go. Welcome everybody to my online Kundalini class. Hola Ale. Hello. <laughs> So you're going to sit very comfortable on a brick and very punctual. This Kriya is uh, very beautiful and we're going to feel very relaxed after it. So we're going to start by playing the music that I send you. If you want to have a background of my voice. And uh, you're going to sit on a brick. And you're going to place both hands on top of the knees. And you're going to close your eyes. And you're going to come here to this present moment and you're going to let every thought that you have from the outside just vanish or you don't need them right now. Inhaling and exhaling deep and feeling how the body feels already very relaxed just by closing the eyes and relaxing the shoulders and opening the chest and becoming a little long and imagining that from your coccyx there are actually roots grounding you onto the earth and they go deeper and deeper and deeper and at the same time from the top of your head an invisible string pulls you up into the cosmos. So you feel this imaginary ray of light going from your crown chakra down into your first chakra, making you very straight and growing, extending, stretching. And you keep your eyes closed and you have a big smile in your face. And you keep on breathing. A couple of more breaths. Feeling this movement of breath in your lungs, in your diaphragm. Expanding the belly, contracting the belly. like a wave that moves inside of you and breathes you in and out, forwards and backwards, up and down, breath, wave, wave of breath. And now you're going to inhale fully and hold that breath. Inhale. Hold that breath. Keep it inside. We're just going to hold it. So don't fight it. Don't resist it. I'm going to count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale. Just keep the eyes closed and feel how something so simple as holding the breath already makes you slow down. And now if you happen to have your telephone near, you're going to place the volume down so that we can rub our hands and tune in. And if you don't have it near, then you're just going to chant Om Namo with a beautiful background. Creating heat between your palms in front of your heart center. Maybe a little faster. Hello, Tamara. And when you have this heat between your palms, you're going to place it exactly in front of your beautiful chest, Anahata. We're going to work on the heart today. And you're going to close your eyes again and we're going to chant Om Namo Guru Dev Namo as we usually do in this beautiful room when everybody is here. And you're going to inhale fully and exhale. 
and inhale to begin. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Hat Guret Name, Jugat Guret Name, Sat Guret Name, Siri Guru Dev Vename. Hat Guret Name, Jugat Guret Name, Sat Guret Name, Siri Guru Dev Vename. Hat Guret Name, Jugat Guret Name, Sat Guret Name, Siri Guru Dev Vename. Now inhale fully. Hold our breath again, but this time press your palms, keep the eyes closed and try to apply Mula Bandha, contracting your first, your second and your third chakra while you imagine that the energy goes up through your spine, sending the energy around into your aura and then you exhale. You relax the hands on top of the knees, take another big inhale and exhale. And now you're going to open your eyes. Nice. I'm going to check that everybody has the music of today. You can always make your own playlist, of course. If you want to compete with my music, you can. But <laughs> if you surrender to my geschmack, here it is. One more time. And I'm going to close this. And today we're going to do a beautiful Kriya because I slept very bad yesterday. And I found this Kriya and I always select the Kriyas regarding to what it means to me. It's not just random. And I found this Kriya that is Kriya for achieving comfortable, happy sleep. So probably after this Kriya, you're going to go directly into the envelope, as we say in Argentina, directly into the envelope. But before we do that, we're going to do a little pranayama. And we're going to do a little exercise to warm up and then we're going to go directly there. So I suggest you keep the block or you keep the cushion or wherever you are seated. And you're going to place the right thumb on the right nostril. And we're going to take 10 deep inhale and exhale through the right. And then we're going to change. I will guide you. I will tell you inhale and exhale. So the only thing that you need to do right now is place the right thumb into the right nostril and relax the left hand on your knee. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to take a big inhale through the left. And a big exhale through the left. And again, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, you're going to change the hands and tap the left with your left thumb and you're going to inhale. Exhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale deep. Inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale. 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 And exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, you're gonna lower the hand to your knee. Both hands are facing up. And we're gonna inhale fully and we're gonna hold the breath for 15 seconds. So when I tell you inhale, you better inhale. Now inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Just stay there with your eyes closed. Breathing, of course. Very slowly, you're going to open your eyes and you're going to remove yourself from the block. And we're going to do a spinal twist. So you're going to place the hands on top of your shoulders. The thumbs are the only ones on the back. You're going to bring the elbows as high as you can. And you're going to turn to the left when you inhale and turn to the left and to the right when you exhale. And the movement is going to be pretty quick so that you feel there's a breeze of air going into your face. Here we go. Hands up, elbows up, inhale left, exhale right. Eyes are going to be closed. And you just concentrate on your breathing being a little fast. Try not to get disturbed by my breathing, by construct your own pace and try to do it fast. You're gonna feel how your ribs touch your lungs. Keep your eyes closed at all times. Beautiful, nice. The head moves with your neck. You're twisting your whole spine. Concentrating on your third eye while you do this. Breathing through the nose, couple of more seconds. Mm. 
Now come in center, checking that your elbows are high and also you a little high and you inhale fully. Hold the breath. Exhale, relax the arms down. Slowly open your eyes. Next exercise, we're gonna inhale. We're gonna hold the breath for 15 seconds and then we're gonna exhale and we're gonna do it many times. And you're gonna notice that it will become a very, very slow breathing and the slower that you breathe, the slower you become. So no wonder if you feel amazing after this. You can relax the hands in the knees, on the knees, or you can play a little Gia Mudra, index and thumb pressing together. This is actually very good to do right now. And you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna listen to my voice when I guide you. This is just a warm up. You can play the music, you can invite your friends, and you can inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale, inhale fully, hold the breath. Exhale, inhale fully. Hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale, inhale, hold it, keep your spine straight, hold the breath. Exhale, three more times, inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale, last time, inhale, hold the breath. Exhale. Now relax the mudra, take a normal inhale, exhale, and just pay attention with your eyes closed to your breath. And now slowly you wanna open your eyes. Hmm. We're going to start with the Kriya. Again, Kriya for achieving comfortable and happy sleep. We're going to start by laying on our back. We're going to raise the left leg up, the right leg up 90 degrees, and the left arm, so the other way. And we're just going to stay there, and the movement is going to be basically raising and lowering our head. I will show you how it is. 
The exercises of this Kriya are very short, so no surprise. So it's going to be left arm 90, right leg 90, and you're going to bring the head up and down. This is going to be the movement. Just lowering and raising the head. So you're going to lay down on the mat. You're going to close your beautiful eyes. You're going to lift the left arm up and then the right leg up. And you're going to start lifting the head and relaxing the head. Keeping those beautiful straight lines on the arm and the leg. Just raising and lowering the head. Breathing long and deep, eyes closed. Raising the head and the torso. And trying not to break this beautiful line. Toe is pointing and leg is straight. Yes. One more minute. Eyes closed. Check if you can point the toe of your leg higher, straighter. Always challenge yourself. Whatever you do, you want to do it to your best. Keep on crunching those abs. Breathing in and out. As if you were wanting to reach higher. Beautiful, 30 more seconds. Nice, keep that leg straight, do not bend it. 15 seconds. And now you're going to inhale the head up. You're going to hold the breath, apply Mula Panda. And exhale, head down, leg down, arm down. Take a big inhale. And exhale. You're going to bring both legs up. We're going to do crisscrossing alternating. This means the legs are going to open wide and they're going to cross alternating. One leg goes forward, the other one goes back. And we're gonna do this as fast as you can. Four, <laughs> it's not so long. You're gonna close your eyes, legs up straight, and you're gonna start crisscrossing the legs. Alternating movement, eyes closed, as fast as you can. You're gonna concentrate on doing this movement as fast as you can. Keeping the knees straight, the toes pointing and using your breath. That is the fastest that you can. The hands could be under your butt or could be facing down on the mat. And you keep on crisscrossing, 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 non-stop, fast, 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 fast. Using your breath, you cannot stop. That's not even halfway there, but you're gonna do this till the end because if I can do it and speak at the same time, you can do it relaxed in your home. Keep on crisscrossing. That is halfway. Oh yes, the legs are getting tired and heavy, but you're under 50 years old, you for sure can still do this. Keep crossing, keep crossing, in and out, alternating. <laughs> the camera shows it's slower than I actually am doing it. Use your breath. Breathe through the nose, mm -hmm. exhale through the nose. Criss, cross, criss, cross, fast, fast, fast. 20 seconds. Remember your breath is your best friend. So when you think 
You cannot do this. You breathe. Ten. Eight. Faster. Six. Four. Two. Stop. Extend the legs up. Point the toes. Inhale fully. Hold the breath. Apply Mula Bandha. Contract first, second, third. Chakra. Next. Relax the legs. Relax the arms. Close your eyes and breathe. Just feel what the body is saying to you. Let the body speak to you. Hmm. Nice. Now you're going to open your eyes. This exercise, you can help your hands under the butt for a little support or under the lower back. So the first part, you're going to lift the left leg up. The second part, you're going to lift the right leg up. And the third part, you're going to try to bring the left back over the head, and then you're going to lower both. This is a lot of ab workout. So left, right, left, both down. We're going to do it two minutes on one side, and then we're going to do it two minutes on the other side. If you want to go harder and that more advanced, when you lift the second leg and you have to bring only the left leg back, you actually bring it back, and then you bring it down. If you want to do it slow, easy, because it's Friday, you just do left, right, jump a bit, and go down. Depends on how you want to do it. It doesn't have to be fast, it has to be precise. First the left, then the right, then one delete the left on the back, and then both go down. I hope it was clear. And here we go. What is this? Here we go. Lay on the mat, facing up, hands under your butt in a triangle or in the support that you need. You're going to bring the left up, the right up, and then the left going back, touching the floor if you can, and then both go down. And again, the left and the right, and then touching the left back if you can, and then both go down. And you repeat to your own pace. You can check, maybe sometimes you can actually touch the back. Maybe sometimes it's too demanding. Left up, right up. Left wants to go back and down. Left up, right up. Left wants to go back and down both together. Eyes are closed. This is a Korea to sleep. Kriya for happy sleep. Left, right, left. Relax both forward. Left, right, left. Relax both forward. Use your breath. Keep on moving. Lots of up workout. Do not get lazy, it's only 30 more seconds. Check if you can do it. Check if you can take a little second and try to bring the left leg back over your head and then both together down. Can you bring the left leg up over your head and then down? Good. One more. And relax both legs down, hands facing up. You realize now wearing a long sleeve t-shirt was not a good option. You inhale fully. And exhale. We're gonna do the same but alternating now. This means you're gonna bring first the right leg up, and then the left leg up. And then with the right, you're gonna touch the ball <laughs> behind you and both legs go down. Here we go. Right up, left up, right goes back, and then both together down. 
right up, left up, right goes back together down. You're gonna notice that the right side in my case is much more easy than the left. That's not good. Both should be friends and strong. Right, left, right goes back together down. Right, left, right goes back together down. And repeat, right, left, right goes back together down. Use your breath and repeat. We have one more minute. Oh, for sure you're gonna have a happy sleep after this one. Let me tell you what you're doing. Try not to bend the knees. Beautiful Tamara, beautiful Lori. Nice Lisa. Wow, Lisa over the head. Nice Ola. Nice Ale. Nice. Beautiful. And we have now 30 more seconds. Let's give it all. Let's give it all. Because the rest of the exercises are not so demanding, so really try to touch with the tip of the toe, the back of your head, and then go down together. Right, left, back on the tip of the toe, and then back together. Right, left, right, back, together, down. Right, left, back, together, down. Right, left, back, together, down. I look like Jane Fonda, yes! Only 10 more. 10 seconds. And then 8 seconds. And then 6 seconds. And then 4 seconds. And then 2. Last one probably. And then relax both legs down. Turn your hands up. Take a nice inhale through the nose. And exhale. Stay there. Inhaling and exhaling, rotating your wrists, opening and closing your fists. Moving the part of your body that you think needs to be released. And then just relax here for some seconds. Nice. You're gonna bring the right knee to your chest and you're gonna push the body up. And the next exercise is called yoga mudra and then placing the forehead on the ground. So we can do it either sitting in easy pose and interlacing the hands behind and then bringing the arms up and placing the forehead on the floor and coming up. But if you can actually not touch the ground, I suggest you come into your heels. You interlace the hands behind you and then you place the forehead on the floor, lift the hands as high as you can, and then push the self up. In easy pose, it's more demanding because you need to have a lot of strength in your core and also be very flexible to be able to bring your body down and then up. Sometimes I can, sometimes I cannot. And this is what we're gonna do in the next minute. So you can even try in easy pose and then change if you don't feel comfortable, closing the eyes, inhale fully, hands in the lace in the back, in the lower back. And then you come down, forehead on the floor, lift the arms as high as you can and push the body up and lower the arms down and repeat. Breathing will come naturally and you will do it as slow as you can. Important is to place the forehead on the floor. Activating your third eye and stretching the arms up and then coming down. If you feel that you're losing balance every time you go down and you feel like you're gonna make your chin break in the ground, just try bringing the foot that is in front of you a little further. So you have space to lower and coming up, keeping your eyes closed, forehead on the floor, yoga mudra up. Enjoy the stretch, let's go.
very graceful, like a yogi, stretching the arms forward, stretching the spine forward. Beautiful. Some more seconds. Keeping the elbows straight, keeping the arms straight. Couple more, using your breath. Two more. Last one. You're gonna sit up. Keep the hands interlaced behind you. Give yourself a little stretch more, lowering the shoulders, looking forward, inhale fully. Hold that breath, apply Mula Bandha, really contracting your sex organ, your anus and your navel point, projecting the energy rising up like a snake through your spine. Then exhale. And place your hands in front of your knees, facing up and again, deep inhale. And exhale. And then very slowly you can open your eyes. Nice. We're gonna do cat cow now. So you're gonna make sure your underwear is not in the camera. You're gonna place your hands in front of you under the shoulders and your knees under your hips. And you're gonna curve your spine as if you had someone sitting in there on a Friday night. And then you're gonna curve your spine as if you were a cat. And we're gonna alternate between these two beautiful movements in a very rapid pace for one minute. Are you sure? Are you ready? Here we go. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling when you open your chest. Exhaling when the chin goes to your chest. And here we go. Try to do it faster. It's only some more seconds. Keep your eyes closed for this one. You do not want to get dizzy. You inhale and exit in a rapid pace. It does look crazy, but it's only 20 more seconds. <laughs> 10. <laughs> Inhale fully. Hold the breath, apply Mula Bandha, hold. Exhale. Come into baby pose, sitting on your heels and extending the arms in front of you. Forehead on the floor, chilling, relaxing here, really stretching, walking with your hands. Oh no, my hands want to run away from my body. That's exactly what you need to do. Walk with your hands and then very slowly come up. Okay, and now we're gonna sweat with a long sleeve. We're gonna place our hands interlaced on top of our head. We're gonna stand up, we're gonna inhale up and we're gonna exhale and we're gonna go into crow pose. I selected a very chill music for today so this exercise might not match the music, but I don't care. So you're gonna stand up. You're gonna separate the feet like the mat. You're gonna interlace your hands on top of the head. This is gonna be the inhale. In the exhale, you're gonna crow pose. You're gonna inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep in this space, closing your eyes. You can do this. Feet are a little wide open, so you can actually come with your butt between your legs. Inhale up, exhale down. Only 30 more seconds. You can do this. Oh, yes, it is challenging. I never said it wasn't, but you're still doing it with me. So amazing. Inhale up, exhale down. (laughs) 
You're going to sleep amazing. Last five seconds. And now inhale up. Hold it. Exhale. Relax the arms. Try to drop the body forward and move the arms side to side. Inhaling deep, exhaling deep. Nice. And now you're going to come into your stomach. The next exercise. So, you're going to come into your stomach. Oops. And the hands are going to be facing backwards and down onto the mat. The chin is going to be on the floor. And you're going to press the navel point onto the mat so that you can lift the upper body and then lower it down. That's going to be the movement. Pressing from your navel point the body up, opening your chest and lifting the head and torso, and the hands are doing nothing. So you're not pressing the hands on the mat, you're actually pressing the navel point on the mat. We're going to begin together. Chin on the mat, feet together, Hands facing down towards the feet. So you're going to press that navel point on the mat and tell the body to come up and then down. Inhale up. Exhale down. The hands are relaxed. The navel point is moving you. Eyes are closed. Heels together. Very tiny movement, but very strong. Leave the hands where they are. Keep on moving. Pressing the navel point on the mat, lifting the torso and relaxing. Almost there. Keep your eyes closed. Beautiful. Some more seconds. Three more. Last one. Hold the breath up like mula banda, stay up, squeeze your butt, squeeze those three chakras and exhale. Cheek onto the floor, hands facing up this time. Inhale, exhale. And now you're going to grab with both hands the left knee. So you're going to grab the left knee with both hands. You're going to push the body up, and then you're going to lower the body. We're going to do this together. So, chin on the floor, both hands grabbing the foot or the ankle. You're going to pull yourself up, and you're going to exhale, relax. So, when you inhale, the knees of the floor. When you exhale, you relax, knee back to the ground. And repeat. And repeat. Eyes are closed. You want to do this movement as gracefully as you can. Try to move precise. The leg is heavy. Nice. Knee off the floor. Knee back to the floor. We have 20 seconds. Then we're going to change legs. Feel the stretch in your back and in your leg. Ten seconds. You can do this. Six seconds. 
Two seconds. Inhale up. Hold that breath, hold that breath, hold that breath. Exhale down, chick. Relax for a moment, only one moment. That was one moment. And now you're going to grab the right leg with both hands. You have it, it's there, that's my leg. You're going to inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Really pulling with the body up and relaxing, stretching the arms. Keeping the left foot facing the ground, legs straight. You're only moving the right. And your eyes are closed. You're going to notice one leg is easier. You're going to do it anyways. Keep on breathing. Fifteen seconds. Yes, you can. Keep on breathing. Last one. Hold that breath up, like Mula Banda up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale. Relax the leg, relax the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Just stay there a moment. Kriya to make you go to sleep. Happily. Keep on breathing. And now you're going to place both hands under your shoulders. And we're going to do cobra push-ups. So the hands are going to be under the shoulders. The fingers are going to be spread. Your feet are going to be together, facing down. And you're going to push the body up into a cobra. And then bend the elbows and place the chin on the floor. And that's what we're going to do for the next uh, minute. Here we go. Beginning with the chin on the floor and the hands exactly under your shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale down. And repeat. Concentration. Eyes closed, focusing on the third eye. Inhale, extend the arms, open the chest, relax the arms down. Keep on moving. Eyes closed. There's a point between your eyebrows that you are looking right now. While you breathe, you look at this point. While you exhale, you look at this point. It's hypnotizing. You're obsessed with this point. You cannot stop looking. It's like, what is in there? Okay, I keep on looking. Keep on looking. Heels together. Ten. Eight. Six. Four. Two and one. Hold it there, extend the arms, hold the breath, apply mulebanda. Exhale down, cheek to the floor again. Arms up, only one inhale here. And one exhale. Transition into a little baby pose, hands under the shoulders. Press the body up and sit on your heels. Extend the arms forward. Another inhale here. And exhale. And then pressing the hands again on the mat. Coming onto your back for the next exercise. 
You're going to bring the knees to your chest and we're going to rock side to side. So basically you clasp around the shins, your arms. You're going to lift the nose to your knees and you're just going to move to the left and right, which is not easy, especially if you have a microphone on the right side. But you're going to try to do this movement, keeping the nose between your knees and rocking to the right and to the left. So not forward and backward, but right and left. Very precise and very small. Eyes are closed, right and left. Nose near to the knees, right and left. Right and left. Right and left. This is the last exercise. The next exercise, you're gonna have to sleep on your stomach. So keep on rocking, right and left. Right and left, right and left. Keep the nose between your knees. It's only 30 more seconds. Keep the nose very near your knees. It's only 25 seconds. Keep the nose more near your knees. And it's 20 seconds. Keep your eyes closed. And then it's 15 seconds. And then you stop in the middle, you take a big inhale. Hold that breath, apply Mula Panda again. Squeeze your first chakra, your second, your third in. And exhale. Head down, extend the legs. Extend the arms, take a big inhale. And exhale. Bring the right knee to your chest. Pull the body up. And for the next and last asana, you have to come into your stomach and try to sleep. This is not deep relaxation, but it's similar to a deep relaxation. You're gonna be facing down, the cheek on the left, relaxing the palms aside the body, and you're gonna stay here for the next minutes. I think this is the hardest asana of all. Here we go. It's on your stomach, cheek on the floor, Close your eyes and try to sleep. This Kriya says that it will take away weird dreams and give you a wonderful subconscious clearance tonight when you sleep. So try to really relax now. And let the thoughts wander. And then gradually I will tell you to turn around and come into a deep relaxation, but not yet. Keep on closing the eyes and scanning the body for any blockages or uncomfortable feelings or tension, starting with the head, neck, Lower back, butt, thighs, knees, lower legs, feet.
Letting out all the tension in the body. Don't resist. Use your breath and exhale out any tension. Feel it going away. Feel the body melting down on each breath. Can you become closer to the mat and closer and deeper? Can you make your body disappear? Not yet. And then very slowly, you're going to start to rotate on your back. And you can prepare for the deep relaxation. If you want to change the music to the next song that is more calming, you can do that. If you want to turn off the music, you can also do that. We're going to spend the next eight minutes laying down on the mat, facing up with the arms aside the body. Sitting still without is the song I recommend. So laying down on your mat, finding yourself very cozy, maybe with a blanket or without a blanket. Mm. So on your back now. Tamara and friend, yes, beautiful, facing up, looking up, giving yourself the space to make it really cozy, really cozy. Jorgito can say con shorts. <laughs> make yourself really cozy, get a blanket. And from now on, eight minutes of deep relax.
very slowly. You want to start to rotate your wrists and your ankles in circles. Then you want to stretch your arms over your head. And you want to make yourself very long, stretching the arms, really, really stretching, and then doing the cut stretch on each side, bending one knee over the straightened leg, opening your arms, looking to the head on the opposite side, feeling the stretch in the lower spine. And then when you're ready, you want to change legs. And you want to do the same. And you want to make sure you're pressing that knee on the floor. And then you want to bring the knees and the legs and the hands in the air. And you want to wrap the soles of your feet and your palms vigorously, creating heat and waking up the nerve endings, really wrapping feet with feet, hand with hand. And then when you're ready and you feel warm, you're going to bring your knees to your chest. You're going to hug them and you're going to start rocking the body side to side, right and left, right and left, right and left. And then when you're ready, then forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, at least three times massaging your back till you can come into a seated position for the meditation. It's really cold in here. You're going to grab a brick and uh, you're going to be my DJs and we're going to select the song that is the last song of this nice, beautiful, I want to say the name again, Korea for achieving comfortable and happy sleep. Let's see how you sleep tonight. No CBD, only proper Korea sleeping. Trust the body. So we're going to play this yoga bowls. Super, super trippy. Really nice song. And we're going to do a meditation for the Anahata, for the heart center. It's a meditation. It's called the Venus meditation. It has two parts. The first part, we're going to breathe, inhaling very deep, like very exaggerated. And then exhaling. And then exhaling, we're going to do that for three minutes. And then we're going to chant the mantra that I'm going to paste right now in this amazing chat because I'm very organized and I already wrote it down on the chat. The mantra is going to be Ekunkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru. So normally it's without the A at the end, but Yogi Bhajan used to chant it with the A at the end. And um, the Kriya says the meditation that we should do it like this. Ekonkara Satanama Siriwahi Guru means one creator created this creation. Truth is his name, great beyond wisdom. And uh, so basically we're calling to the universe. And uh, it's a meditation to open the heart center. The more you open the center, the more you attract. So whatever it is that you are looking forward or, yeah meditating on like i really want my studio to be open again uh this is what's going to happen if you actually let your heart open so we're going to start by doing the first part which is just relaxing the hands on the knees and we're going to inhale and exhale very profound especially on the inhale it's going to be very exaggerated like really pulling the air in song on yoga is in seated hands relax on the knees here we go eyes closed Pull the air in, exaggerate it. And then exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And repeat. Keep on breathing, really pulling the air into the heart. Eyes are closed. Make sure you exhale. Thank <laughs> you. 
Keep on breathing. You can do this. One more minute. Pulling the air in and relaxing the air. You can do this. Concentrating what you're doing, really pulling the air in and relaxing the air in 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Yes, you can. And now inhaling deeply, fully, holding that breath. Exhaling, inhale fully, exhale, keep your eyes closed, inhale, exhale, now placing the back of the left palm on the back of your heart center, and the right hand in front of your right center. So left palm faces out, right palm faces in. We're gonna inhale fully. Exhale. And we're gonna begin to chant this mantra, trying to circulate the energy of the heart center from forward to back, from left to right, from up, and down, inhale fully, exhale, inhale to begin. Ekunkara satanama sirivaha he guru, ekunkara satanama sirivaha he guru, ekunkara satanama Siriwaha, he guru, ekonkara, satanama, 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 Siri waha, 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 he guru, ekonkara. Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara 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 
Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Ekonkara Satanama Siriwaha He Guru Inhale fully
Hold that press, press both palms and try to feel the heart center and imagine that there is a circulation energy going around you, outside you, around you, outside you, around you, outside you. Exhale and inhale again. Hold that press, press your heart center with both palms and circulate the energy outside you, around you, inside you, outside you, outside you, inside you, around you, around you, around you. Exhale. Last time, inhale fully. Hold that breath and open that heart center, sending the energy to your palms, around you, surround you, outside you, inside you. Exhale. Relax the hands slowly over the knees. Mm, just keep your eyes closed for a moment. Letting the arm energy go directly on the anahata. And then you're going to take another big inhale and exhale. And if you can, open your eyes. Oof. You're going to stop the music. <laughs> bring your palms together. You're going to wrap them vigorously. And then you're going to place this beautiful warmth and heat exactly in front of the center that have we, we have been activating. Inhale fully. Exhale. Inhaling for Satnam. Satnam Satnam to your third eye for intuition more intuition more intuition more intuition back into the mouth for truth more truth more truth and then back into the heart center more love more love more love more love more love and then if you're ready you can bend forward place the forehead on the ground and then with a the beautiful craft and force you have in your navel point, you pull the body up into a very beautiful straight yogi position. Inhale, exhale. Mm. And you open your eyes and you're back in this three dimension. Boring. Boring 3D reality. <laughs> so... I am so thankful that 18 people, 19 people, 20 people join my class today. Woohoo! That's amazing. I feel super, super blessed. Thank you, Lena. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you, Jorgito and Denise and Elena and Lisa and Malia and Ola and Ale and Sara and Rosa and Tamara and Muriel and Lori and Ona and Lydia. Everybody participated from this amazing show tonight and you are going to sleep amazing. I hope you really like the meditation. I feel a little high still. You cannot see my pupil, but it's very I wish that you have a beautiful sleep, Satnam. <laughs> and uh, yes, I will be here on Tuesday and on Wednesday. And Monday too. Monday is from my home. I get very lazy on Monday. I have the right to do it at home. You are more than invited to join this link with other people. The more that we are, the more powerful we are. And we have more fun, I guess. So thank you for joining. Have a beautiful Friday night. And have a beautiful, comfortable and happy sleep.
Satnam, thank you for joining. Ciao, Lori. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> awesome.